Creo Parametric 8.0 includes quite a number of new model tree capabilities. You can, for example, create custom groups in the design items folder. The display can also be controlled in the model tree filter settings. Custom groups enable you to create a custom structure to organize design items, for example, by dragging bodies and quills into custom groups. This allows you to document your design intent with more flexibility and freedom, for example, to reflect functional areas in your design. You can create custom groups, name and rename them, use dragging to reorder them and structure them to freely manage quills and bodies according to their function in the design. To organize an existing design, you can drag bodies, quills, annotation elements and material nodes into or out of these groups. In a custom group, when you right-click the item and click Remove from custom group, the item is relocated to its original position. For example, when you remove a body from a custom group, the body is relocated to the bodies folder. The presentation of bodies and quills in a custom group includes contributing features. To organize a design as you go, you can set a custom group as default. The default custom groups are marked with a star. Newly created items will be automatically added to the default custom group. In the illustrated example here, the quilt representing the parting surface to split the housing body, along with the new bodies representing the top and bottom parts of the housing, are all automatically created under the default custom group called split. Creoparametric 8.0 makes it easier to organize the design and to allow design engineers to document their design in a way that others new to the design can quickly grasp the evolution and functional grouping of bodies, quilts and other design items.